So aseptic transfers lab, got my pretty apron on, tied on the side, got my safety glasses on. I'm going to disinfect my lab bench with pouring some Lysol on it. Hopefully we'll have spray bottles <laughs> soon. Use my paper towels and disinfect my workspace. While that's dry, I'm going to get my Bunsen burner and attach the hose. And I'm actually going to get this one around. I like it on this side. You can just twist it so it lays flat. Make sure it's all the way as tight as you can go on the nozzle. And this one, it's perpendicular. It's off, as you can see. Get that as flat as I'm going to get it. I always test because we put these in the drawer that this is screwed into the base all the way. This top. About half air. If it has an adjustment nozzle, you want to tighten it all the way and then two screws out. One, two. To let enough gas through. Use my flint. These you got to make sure you push back pressure so that you actually get a spark. You also have to check and make sure that you actually have flint, the black part before you begin. Just turn the gas on, you put it parallel with the hose. You'll hear it. Generate a spark. This one doesn't want to go. Might need a little bit more gas. There we go. Adjust my air to about halfway. And I am going to bring the flame down. You can see two arches in the flame. Put my striker away with the flint. Desktop is already nice and dry. I'm going to get my materials. So over here, you have all the culture media for your group. You each have a row. So you're going to need your own rack. So there's my rack. Any rack over there is fine. You're going to have two slant cultures and two broth cultures per student. Remember to grab them by the tube, not the cap. The caps are not secure. So these are mine. The rest of these are for the rest of the class. The rest of my lab partners. The other thing on your lab bench will be your stock cultures for your group. We have four different stock cultures. We have a Petri dish, which has E. coli on it, as the label says. It also has some antibiotic testing on it. <laughs> it's just an extra plate I had. That's plastic. And we have a broth culture that is a mixed culture of two organisms. Right? And I mixed it up, but you can still see it's kind of pelleted there. Or is this the one I didn't mix? So to mix, you flick the two, gently hold between the two fingers and flick with the other one. So we get a nice suspension. You see the, the ones that fell out of suspension? Now coming back into suspension. You want it to suspend it as best you can so that you pick up bacteria. This is a slant culture, so it's auger and a slant inside of a tube. And this one, you'll see the name of the organism, Staphylococcus epidermis, the date it was inoculated, and my initials because I inoculated this. You can see nice creamy white appearance to the growth. This is another creamy white one, but different organism. We know this because the label says Klebsiella pneumoniae. It's even a different type of media that we don't typically use. The TSA stands for Tryptosoy Auger Media. And again, inoculation date and initials. Then we have a broth culture of E. coli. So you can see it's kind of cloudy. Not so much as the mixture. It's only one organism in here. So make your observations. Right. The other thing that we're going to need is an instrument. And I typically work from left to right. So I'm going to go from my stock to what we call subculturing, right? making basically a copy so that we have organisms to work with next week. In addition, 
everybody's going to get their own petri dish for the next part, which I'm going to do in the next video. I'm just going to put it here for now so that we have all of our stock. The next thing I need is my instrument, which I hit. Yes. Okay. This is a loop. Right. This one's the instructor loop. If you have it, give it back to the instructor. It's color coded with three. You want to make sure that it's straight, flat, relatively clean before heating it. Once you heat it, it'll be hot and you don't want to touch it with your hands. So I have my loop, I have my Bunsen burner on. I'm actually going to put my gloves on. I'm going to be super cautious today. And then I, of course, want my procedure. Which I just took out, didn't I? all important. <laughs> I'm at a thousand here. I put it back in his in yours. Maybe. I'll sort it out after. Mm -hmm. Alright. Set of labels. Labels, procedural checklist. So I'm going to take my sheet of labels with a pen or pencil. I'm going to add my initial underneath the date for each one of these four labels in this strip. And I'm going to use my scissors, cut them into as small as possible labels. Each label says what organism is going to go in the tube, what source it's coming from, whether it be a plate, a slant, or a broth, and what media it's being transferred to is in bold. So that helps us know which type of media the label is going to go on. helps us focus. So since it says E. coli, or Staph epi, excuse me, that's the abbreviation, slant to broth, so I know I'm going to put this label on a broth tube. Usually I'll do this without gloves because tape sticks to gloves. But I might be able to pull it off with having one free hand. So on my broth tube, right, these are liquid. There's my other broth label. This one actually is going to be E. coli. My slant. slant. Notice I put the label on the back of the slant. I'll show you. See how it's on the back so that you have a clear surface here where you're going to be inoculating. So on slant cultures it's important where you put your label so that helps you see. So then I'm going to go by my checklist. So the first one's going to be Staph epi, uh, Klebsiella. Alright, so I'm just putting these in order to my list. So I can just follow my list. It's going to go like such. One, two, three, four. Right. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going from first culture. I'm doing Staph epi, Klebsiella, pneumonia, E. coli, broth, and then it's going to be the plate. So I have it all organized. Right. Put my glove on. Keep my workspace clear. I need to sterilize my loop. You hold your loop as if you're chopsticks or a handwriting utensil. Forefinger and thumb resting on your middle finger. You want to be able to, you know, almost be an artist with it, as you will be. I'm going to go loop first into the flame and you want it to be bright orange the whole loop the hottest part of the flame is usually the top of the first arch and of course the wind is blowing you want to go from loop all the way to 
the beginning of your handle. And then now it's sterile. If I put it on the desktop, even though I disinfected, this is not sterile, I'd have to reflame my loop. So you want to keep it in your hand. You want to find your stock culture. You grab the tube, not the cap. You use your hand with the loop to grab with your pinky the cap. I orient it so I can see the culture when it's a slant like this. Take it out, keep it held at an angle. Flame the mouth to kill any bacteria in the air. I'm going to go in with my loop and I'm just going to touch on the surface just a tiny little bit. You can barely see that I took anything right there. A little bit goes a long way. I want to come back out with trying not to touch the sides. I'm going to flame again, cap, put it back in my stock rack in the next row to indicate I'm done with that one. Then I find my staff epi. From that slant, now I'm going into a broth. So this is pretty easy, just take the cap off, flame, go in and shake the bacteria off. Notice holding the tube at an angle, right? Come out without touching the sides, flame, cap, next row to indicate I'm done. Flame my loop. Notice lots of flaming going on, right? For the excess bacteria and media left on. So make sure it's all flamed off clean. I got another spot right there, so I'm leaving it. Okay, then my next one. So check my list. I'm going to Klebsiella. Klebsiella. It's another slant culture. So I'm going to angle it so I can see. And I kind of screwed up on this label. I put it on the front. <laughs> Actually, I think someone else labeled these for me. <laughs> so I grab my cap and a flame. And I'm going to go in. And again, just a little dab of bacteria. That's actually a lot, but that's okay. You see how that's a lot. Okay, put it in my stock culture rack, check my label, clubs the yellow slant. Now I'm going into another slant. So now again, angle so I can see. Flame. Go down towards the bottom, or what we call the butt, and zigzag up so about the label, not mid-label, right? You don't want to go all the way to the top. Lift up, come out with touching your, without touching your sides. Flame, cap, done. What I do with my loop? Flame it to sterilize. Again, until it's clean. Depending on how much you have on there, you may have to hold it in certain spots a little longer. You can tell by the way the flame is acting, whether it's burning stuff or not. Okay, so the next one, E. coli broth. So this is a little bit different. Thankfully, E. coli is a modal organism, so it didn't settle out at the bottom. They're swimming all throughout here. So if I just go in and put my loop, I'm going to pick up bacteria. Grab my cap, flame. Almost like you're blowing bubbles, just stick your loop in, pick up some liquid. It's okay if your bubble pops. See the film? It's okay if it pops, though, the bacteria will still be on the loop. So if you're shaky hand, don't worry about it. I'm going into a slant, right, E. coli broth to slant. So I'm going to grab my cap again. I have it angled so I can see my slant. Go in without touching the sides. Go to the bottom, the butt. Zigzag up the slant to almost the top. Lift it up. Flame, cap, done. Flame my loop. This one's not going to have quite as much bacteria in it because it was a suspension. So as you can see, I'm quickly able to flame this one. Last one, a plate. Hmm, this is a conundrum. I can't flame this, it's plastic, it will melt. So how do I prevent airborne contamination? I pick up the lid, you can see through the lid, right? And I just pick up again just a little bit of bacteria you can barely see where I took, right? You can barely see it on my loop. Put that aside, go to my broth culture, right? Grab my cap, flame, knock the bacteria off, come back out, flame, cap, flame, and then done. So we did aseptic transfers from the several different types of media that we commonly use. Mostly slants, sometimes broths, and occasionally a plate.
that's it for this one.